to University D. <laughs> my name is Blake Croft, and I will be your dungeon master for the evening. And it is my absolute pleasure to introduce the players. Starting with my left, Santiago Zabura. Kelly Mirror. Alex Moore. Katie Mirror. <clears throat> Jacob Gonzalez. <laughs> and Guy. And Guy. Um, thank you so much for sticking with us uh, for this far, and we hope you enjoy the episode. Well, if all that is over, let's... Roll the intro. In a world where a bunch of kids play D and D, they also try to balance university. So let us introduce ourselves formally and welcome to a brand new land of normalcy. Yeah. With some initiative, they know the definition of getting a critical position and behind the villain. In other words, flanking the mimic to get a second attack. It's smooth and fast, prepping to cast a fireball. Hit them all with a third level blast. I know. Hope it's overcast to see destructive wrath from a holy man, but he ain't the only man. Strike gold, he got a brutal barbarian. Every turn, the dragon lands another blow. Spin flames like a fighter with a blessed blow. Charge of ice into the fire with no doubt. Ghostly form behind your back, sneak attack right now. It's University D&D. We're here to work and play and earn our bachelor's degree. Yeah. Now everybody sing it with me. Cause it starts right now. Count it one, two, three. Welcome back to University D&D. For part two of our episode. Uh, last we left off, the adventurers had. <laughs> the <laughs> last we left off, the adventurers were down in the catacombs where Blitz had uh, gone up against some of the standard tier fights, while Blomf had uh, managed to get himself into quite the unfair match against yeah. a large frog-like creature in uh, one of the main rings uh, in 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 the catacombs. Um, he was knocked unconscious. Uh, the rest of the crew carried him back out of the slimy toad um, and back to the tavern. Uh, the three of you headed to the library in the commons and uh, checked out some of the books there. And uh, Blomph, you had woken up, uh, come to consciousness. What? Stop doing stuff to make me laugh. I look insane. No one can see you. I'm just like... <laughs> Helps them, like He's over here. Throughout that entire recap, yeah. he goes... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our tech crew, ladies and gentlemen. We'll make like a compilation. So we'll that is where we pick up. <laughs> that is where we pick up in the shivering end as Blomph comes to consciousness. Alice and Blitz sit by his bedside. Oh. You were at one HP. Oh, thank you. No. You should probably sleep for a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, like. Ooh, what? What happened? Well. Just put flesh on it. Um. I think a big frog took a bite of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think a, a big frog <laughs> took a bite of your neck. Is that like a like a metaphor, or are you being serious? No, no. You were um, put up in an unfair fight. To say the least. I kind of stand up and stagger. Oh. I have to go back. I have to finish what I started. Not yet. You don't understand. I stand up again, and I start walking to the door. Oh, like no, nothing. no. And now I'll kind of try to turn him around and bring him back to me. <laughs> he just keeps walking. Right? <laughs> Does he see the flask? Um, I want the flask at his bed. Oh, yeah, there's a flask at your bedside. Yeah. Uh, Damien left something for you. What? The <gasps> flask. Maybe. I look up at the sky and he's looking down on me. <laughs> Wait, did Maybe you, did you should did you, did you, rest. Did you die? And wait until you feel better. Long well, will tell you the truth. Okay? I believe you deserve this that much. I tried to help you during the fight because it was not a fair match and he was going to destroy you, and he did, even with even with my help. 
So if you think that you are going to go back there by yourself and fight that giant beast and win, you are delusional. I take the flask. And I walk out the door. And I slam the door. Shut behind me. Um, sh should we go after him? I don't think he wants to talk to me. I'll run out the door. Are you, are you still... I'm like, uh, I'm like... Where are you going? I'm just storming out. Yeah, you I'm not ahead. storming out. Like, <laughs> but I'm, uh... You're barbarianing out. <laughs> <laughs> you start to head downstairs to the inn. In front of the inn, yeah. Oh, uh, Blump. I'm sorry, I, I know that this is really important to you, but it wasn't a fair fight yesterday when you were doing well, and you should, you don't look so good. You should probably wait until you're feeling better. Alice, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna come out the room, go over the railing. But this is not your fight. I just don't want anything to happen to you. Blanc, tell me exactly why you are angry. At me, specifically. Are you saying you were helping me that whole time? I gave you what I and when was it just it was it just that time or was it all of the times? Have I been have I been really fighting? Yes. Um I wasn't at full strength, not even close. So, um I, I did what I could, but you you were getting <laughs> you were getting destroyed out there, Bonf. He was twice your size, even more. You call that a fair fight? They were playing you for a fool, Blanc. I wasn't going to let you just sit there and take it. I gave you a fighting chance. Didn't get me very far. No. I didn't have the power to, to help you. I, if I had finished a long rest, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I was better rested, I, I could have done more. And I wanted to, but I... You can't be mad at me for trying to help. You would... Watch me. Huh? <laughs> I... You told me that you wanted a fair fight, so I was evening the odds. You must understand that. I can't nod. Street. Not it's, going towards. Oh wait, what time? It's 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 afternoon. Um, uh, there are, there's a good amount of people in the streets. Probably one of the busiest times of the day. People are like flooding through, going to the marketplace, walking into shops. Um, into the end, people brush past you into the shivering end. I I don't walk in the direction of the. Um, of the, uh, the slimy toad. I just try to, I just kind of walk aimlessly through, um, the town and just think for a bit. You see people in the streets, um, you see one particular, uh, a family family of three walk down. They appear to be um, human. It's a mother and a, a, a larger, bulkier father, and they're swinging a, a young boy through the streets. And as you walk down, you picture yourself being swung in a similar way. When you were young. You walk through the crowds. No one stops you. No one says anything. So like a... It's an open area maybe with some like, like a park or something. Something similar to that. Yeah. The end of the marketplace. There's... I mean like a large grass field. 
um, before the before the keep. There are a few tents on either side of it, but some children play in the grass. Uh, there are picnic style tables set up. A few people. Uh, there's some like seating areas. A few people uh, roam around, but it's pretty peaceful. I just gonna take it in, and I go to one of the um, one of the empty tables, and I just kind of sit with my back facing the table, looking out on this, at the scene, and I just kind of look at my tattoos, reminisce for a bit. Three of you, Kasha, Damien, and Malik, leave the library. Where um, I wouldn't walk up enough. I don't know. A um, stack of large, yeah. large stack of books in here. Just three books. Can oh, I? Uh, oh, just three. I have a yeah. Oh, okay. I have a backpack. I'll just put them in there. Okay. And then I'm gonna say. Did I see what books Damien checked out? Um. I wasn't trying to. Hide yeah, he was. He wasn't trying to hide him. So yeah. Damien, you bought a book of fairy tales? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I mean, I could have told you any of those. I promise. I don't know. When I was younger, my my father and I used to he used to read them to me. So I like to to just read them. Well, well, me too. And I pull out. I pull out my Heroes of the Realm cards, and I start flipping through, even to Pua. And I'm like, look! <laughs> she pulls out like a, um, like almost like velvet, uh, like the cloth is almost velvet, a case of cards. And on the backs of each are the, the face of what appears to be an adventurer. And one is a um, redhead gnomish person with a with a wand who and it says in, in like fan, fantastical writing uh, pua and uh, on, on, on the on the faces of the cards is is like a normal playing card deck uh asshole damien just disappears it's just like childlike wonder oh, okay it's like whoa what what did you get those my well <laughs> my uh, my daddy and my sister went uh, on on, a, on a, a, a trip of his and they came back with these cards for me because well they knew how how much I loved hearing them from 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 my parents um, so we would all <laughs> we would play when we were bored and always uh, look at the pictures and pretend to be the cool heroes in these stories and you know my, my siblings played oh. playing with me too it was like a nice childhood. It was. You know, now that we're on the topic, Malik, this just reminded me that I know nothing about you. Like, not anything. <laughs> really. Like figures. We only know each other for what a week can also this way. True, but like... When Damien and nothing. I knew each other for a week, we were experts. Well, true. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. What do you want to know? I just had him. Well, um, I don't know, I've never heard an, yeah, I don't mean to be rude, but I've never heard an accent quite like yours. Where, where are you from? Oh, I'm over from Greenhaven. You know that is? I've, I know geographically, <laughs> but I don't know much about it. I surely remember the war you had uh, in this country about 40 years ago, right? Is, is that the two? Yeah, yeah. um. Yeah, you, you had heard Grinhaven and Everidge uh, about... That was the war against the Zeronian Empire? You're in the Zeronian Empire. Right. Against, like... against the Ismidian Empire cool. in Grinhaven. About about 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Um, is that not... I could be wrong on that. No, I don't... I don't it's know. written down somewhere. I don't it's know. written down somewhere. Recent enough to still be in memory. Um, yeah. a, a war raged between the two continents on Everidge shores... Um, Over the subject of magic, or the like, therefore. 
Oh. And it came to uh, somewhat of a stalemate as both sides like gained territory, lost territory, and over the course of like 10 years, fighting eventually ceased, but tensions between the regions remain. What made you come here? Well, this is a very magical place, wouldn't you think? I mean, right now we're going to a place where we could literally learn magic. That is true. City. That's that's true. That's uh, not really the case where I came from. It was all magic over there is dead. There's there's no more of it really. Oh, he's dead. And from what I can tell, it's going to happen here too, before long. What? What? What makes you say that? Well, I don't think you could feel it, and maybe Kasha could, but. Every time he casts a spell, <laughs> what? Every time he casts a spell or do anything related to magic, it's not really replenished that quickly. Where I come from, it's not replenished at all, and it seems like uh, even this this part of the land is going in the same direction. How long did it take for that to happen? Oh, centuries. We'll probably we're probably fine. You know, when you say it like that, it makes me think that we're not probably fine. <laughs> Anyway, but you, we're talking about my family. They're very nice people. A couple of foreigners. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's cool. It's a couple of worms. I'm sorry. Farmers. <laughs> Farmers. That's <laughs> a couple of worms. <laughs> couple of worms. <laughs> Did they... I was raised they, by worms. Um, <laughs> I was raised by worms. Were they as well-versed in magic as you are? Oh, of course not. Uh, my parents are both very common folk. They did teach me how to read, write, and draw as I can today that I owe to them, but other than that, they did double much. Okay. Do they come here with you, or are they still... Oh, they're still great here. Okay. Hopefully well. Anyway, we're here. You have... Are you, you're headed to the college? Well, yeah, I was going to say, on our way to the college, I'm going to be like, so, I feel like I kind of got what I needed from the library. If you... I mean, you two are well, just way better at magic than I am. If you want to go ahead, and I might just head back to the tavern. How's it? How's it sound to you, guys? Insight. Insight. Okay. Sure, roll insight. Interesting. <laughs> What's that all about? What is that all about? We're just we're going back to see both. Seventeen. All right. I, I don't know. I really want to go back and read. Oh, <laughs> about it. What a nerd. Okay. What a nerd. <laughs> You think less of him as he's a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I'll see you back there, I guess. Okay. I'm not going to So you head back to the Shivering End. Yeah. Uh, Kasha, to to college for some reason. Yeah. Kasha, <laughs> Kasha and Malik, are you two yeah. still heading to the college? Yes. Not so yeah. you ask around. Um, uh, you had heard the college is in the east, but uh, as you walk east on the street... You interrogated the girl during the night. Um, right. True. Um, as you walk further down the street, um, it opens more, and you can once again see the river on the left side of the road. Um, Is there a bridge in your sight? And yeah, as 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 you come uh, further into the city on the east, um, there's a large bridge that is like grand in design. Um, just stro stone bricks that uh, kind of arch a little bit and go over the river. Before it's not inside the keep, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and there is like ornate like decoration um, on on the other side that like is almost like a banner um, of like silver. Um, and so people people go back and forth. There are two guards on the opposite side in the black leather garb with the moon, the crescent moon that shines, um, and they're they're kind of asking people questions as they come across the bridge either leaving, most of them going into that part of the town, of the city. You're crossing the bridge? Yeah. So yeah. you head over the bridge, and uh, the two guards, one's, one's male, one's female, both human, stop you. Uh, hi. What's your uh, business? Hold on. Hold on. I lost my notes. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, quick. Classic. Ask me questions right now. I know, quick. A a ask me questions. Yeah, where are you from? Uh... What's your name? What are your parents' names? Cousins? Yeah. Cousins? Um... How many? What are their names? <laughs> what are you? Um, which part of the city are you from? What would you rate me? <laughs> Out of ten. What would you rate yourself? Out of ten. Yeah. What's your social security number? 
Yes, uh, hi. What's your business in River South? We're visiting an, an acquaintance at the academy. In the college, I mean. The college? Yeah. Uh-oh. I didn't. Academy? Slip University? up. Already? Oh, yeah. uh... Sure, sure. That's that is all good. Um, are you a student of the college? Are you both students? No, we're visiting our appointments. Visiting. Uh, all right. Um, just don't uh, get in any trouble. Just like that floating cobalt over there. As he casts <laughs> kind of no, no. <laughs> he, he, he like starts to look over the bridge. Like, what is that? As you two like walk past. <laughs> Um, you walk past into uh, River South, um, out of the commons of Inkberry, and this this half, the southern side of the river, is um, much nicer. Uh, the buildings are grand, a lot taller mostly. Um, you know, I mean, most of the architecture is, is similar, but the taverns and inns were one or two stories um, at most, while these, some of them are like large buildings with... It, tons of stories, um, towers, spires, um, really large things, and so it is, it is just overall a grander place. And as you curl east, just over the horizon, uh, where the walls usually would be uh, on that side, before you get there, on the horizon, you see a tower just straight up with like a spiraling, almost like walkway around it as it, as it, as it just comes into vision. You walk for a little further, and you see more towers. Um, four, actually. In in like it's it's hard to see like the the shape from from where you are, but you you see four distinct spires as you approach um, where you would assume the college to be, and there are large stone walls that kind of box around it. It's it's about the size of the keep that you've seen before, and it's about half of this walled-in area is within the city borders. And the other half expands beyond the walls of the city. Nice. The street leads um, and curves left and continues further left, but then kind of branches out a little to the right and leads straight up to uh, these large gates at the college. Cool. Are um, they open? Uh, they, they are not open, but a, a one singular guard, not in the black leather. Um, it, is, it is a young man, a young appears to be half elvish, um, some elvish features. Um, he stands guard. He's just in like commoner's clothes, and he stands at the gates. Okay, I'm gonna approach as if she, as if I want to pass. Yes. Uh, how may I help you? Oh, we're just looking to get interest into the college. Right. Uh, new students, returning students. Maybe new. Maybe. Oh, uh, all right. Um, any particular, would you like to see someone about admissions? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just going to go to school now. <laughs> <laughs> we never saw Malachi. This is so bad. Truly. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I would actually like to see your bookkeeper and ask him a few questions. Oh, sure. If possible. Um, sure, I believe, yes, uh, I can, I can, uh, lead you to him. And he um, goes around. There's a small... Um, he presses a stone, like a brick in the wall, presses it in, and it, like, comes out. The gates start to move and open. As they open, you, you are met with a, a pretty grand sight. Um, it is a large courtyard um, of stone, but there are spots of... Uh, beautiful gardens and spiraling trees and um, there there are walkways with like pillars that surround them and the main structure as you walk in this courtyard it is almost like an arrow shape and there are two um spires two s smaller towers that sit on f closer to you and then in the middle of them uh like in front of them sits a large tower that goes all the way up and as you as you as you walk around the courtyard you see in the distance in front of that tower another slightly smaller tower so yeah it's like one two three and then four farther away 
I'm going to speak to the guard on our, yeah. we're yes. on our way to where are we taking us. This is all quite lovely, but before we enroll, there are a few uh, questions I had just about, you know, things that people say about this place. Uh, right. Right. What questions I mean, do you have? There, there's just a certain reputation, a, a, a stigma around the school. Could you tell me anything about it? Yes, unfortunately, uh, the people of the city are... Uh, they don't know what we do here, and uh, I believe they're afraid to find out. Um, we got off on sort of a bad foot with the city, and I guess some citizens never fully trusted us, you would say. That doesn't... doesn't necessarily sound like it's your fault. Well, uh, no, just... that's what people say. Hmm, interesting. But you would say there's nothing really going on no, it, uh, here that the town should be concerned the about. The college is... It has done wonders for me, and it could do wonders for you, too, if you choose to uh, become a student here. Well, let's find out, why don't we? You said uh, the library you yes. would like to find. Yes, I can take you there. Um, come with me. You walk around this uh, central tower in a large, I mean, this, this, this thing is like huge. It is a huge campus. Um, and the towers seem to be the, the major buildings as students, like, file into them. Um, some are just sitting around the courtyard on large. There are statues. Um, it's a be beautiful campus. Um, and he leads you over to the last um, tower, the, the one on the far side. Uh, this is the zenith. Um, this is where you will find um, the divination and abjuration classes. Um, and you will also find the library. Um, so I think that is as far as I can take you. Unfortunately, I have to get back to keeping watch, but um, if, uh, if, if you need anything else. No, of course. Thank you for your help. No, yes. I think that'll be all, but thank you. No problem. Any heads back. Let's find the library. So you had there are students that kind of like brush past you through the doors. Are you walking in there? This is a large spire. Um, I'm going to slay it. What? I'm going to slay it. Yes, slay the spire. Um, but as you, as you enter, uh, you see it is a large... The first floor, uh, there are, like, desks um, around, and there is a large... Some of, the, some of the students are, like, going over to the desk, and there's a large spiral staircase that goes up one floor, um, like, that goes around the entire room. So, there are the book bookcases here, not like No. So I guess we're going up. Okay, so you start to head up the spiral staircases. It's actually quite, the, quite a long journey, as they're, they're pretty yeah, steep. It, it's, and pretty also, deep. it's really, like, unpractical. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, you got a point. But as you go up, uh, the second floor actually does have bookcases, and you see the majority of this entire floor is dedicated to a large library. This looks like our place. Alright, and no? a, a, as you come up. What? Oh, this looks like our place, Malik. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> she, yeah, she speaks she, <laughs> she speaks infernal for you. She just said this seems like your kind of place. Um but uh so uh, you two uh, enter this spiral staircase and uh, a, a woman Stops you. Yes. Hello. And uh, it appears to be Elvis. Elvis features. Mm. How may I help you? Yes. Uh, we're looking to peruse your collection of uh, magic books, especially regarding the school evolution. Right. May I see your uh, rings? Rings? Yes. Your class rings. I'm sorry. Are you a student no, here? No. No. We're not students here. Oh. Is that a problem? Uh, um, unfortunately, uh, t to check out any of the books. You must be a student of the college, but if there was anything else I may do to help you, I, I, I... No, of course, I didn't say we needed to check anything out. Why don't you peruse them? Oh, um, well, I suppose you could look through. Thank you. No, 
Could you help? Do yes. No. Yes. Uh, what, what, what are you looking for? <laughs> what are you looking for? I can read foul and foul. Instruction book some magics, especially in Illusion School. Sure. Sure. And um. And and you, ma'am. Oh yeah, I'm um, uh, I'm looking for the exact same thing. The what? Exactly. 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 Oh, uh, perfect. That makes it easy. Um, if you will just follow me. And she takes you. Uh, there are rows. Uh, again, it, it is not just an arcane library. You know, there are uh, history books. There are uh, adventure books. There are fiction yeah. books. Um, be a history major when you could study magic. But there is a large... It's just bookshelves and bookshelves. And then in the back, there are smaller shelves that, like, curve into a plush, um, like, velvet couch that, like surrounds like curves around the back wall and like comes up in a nice a nice seating area as some um, students are like reading taking notes like doing work um, there um, this is our arcane text section um, you said illusion magic yeah okay uh, yes just right over here and she takes you to one of the shelves and there is a, a shelf of um, tomes on like where illusion came from uh, how you know how it's used? There are certain like spells of like uh, instructional how to cast. Mm. Mm. Expand on that. Do any of do any of these uh, books look like the one Malik checked out at the library? No, oh, that's a valid point. Ooh. Yeah. Um, the specific book for Moses Ward. Yes. They they, they do or... not appear. They do not appear to. Well, not in this section. Oh, okay. So like, if I looked in the abjuration chest section. Yeah, they don't appear to have Formosa's word in particular. Yeah, I see. Well, you were going on about some spells, but yeah, there. I mean, there, there's a there's a good amount of instructional. Hmm. Um, are looking anything about an illusionary dragon? <laughs> what? Anything on an illusion like dragon? Ooh. Uh, no, you do not see anything like that. Uh, you see, it's mm. it's it's mostly like basic. Um, Pretty basic stuff. There's some cool about like. Um, probably checked out already. What? It's probably checked out already. The cool stuff is probably checked out yeah, already. Yeah, the cool stuff. Yeah. Dang, you missed your There's there's one called like spectrum <laughs> speculation. Mm -hmm. um, there there's a few others. Um, what are you looking for? Just instructional spells. Yes. Yeah, so you pick up you pick up one. Yeah, just I'll pick up one and see what type of book they have here. Yeah, you pick up one called um, spectrum speculation. And it is about um, using the uh, color spectrum to uh, to your uh, own advantage. Mm, yeah. It it just talks about uh, color based spells in general and like distorting light, like color spray, uh, and that kind of thing. It does detail. It details color spray. Um, it details silent image. Mm, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, like and uh, invisibility. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> but, and this is like a cool book. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's two copies of it. Oh, okay. That's what he said. How much did I want to see? It's a good orc. How bad? Frequency orc. What? Sorry. You're talking about frequency orc? I want to see you I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't tell you. Ten on one. Okay, so you you you've picked up spectrum speculation. Ah uh, yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm at least gonna consider this. How hard would um, it be to seal this book? Good. There, uh, there, there I'm are, at least gonna consider. There are a good amount of students sitting around. There are students perusing the aisles. But no sitting bed a knife. Someone and that looked like a student big point off. Right. Um, so it's it's just the one woman who had spoken to you that it seems to be like running the place. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not used for this now. And if this library stays here, I suppose it's fine. It's nice to know such a resource exists though. Kesha, you're done? Yeah, I don't know anything about schools of magic. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> True. Kesha's like Books? No, I don't know how to read. No, I don't have any money. I was going to ask. Is there anyone else we should. Okay, so you're heading out. Is there anything. All right. As you're heading out, you walk. Is there anybody else we should talk to about. 
we you should... know, the situation around here and yeah. about um And we could ask about and girl in the school too. Schoolers. You what? School. It'd be cool if all you guys it would be students. pretty cool. Yeah, it would the be school pretty arc. Cool. School arc. School arc. University in D arc. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> Yeah, you can learn to cast spells as a barbarian. Yes, that would be. Okay. So, so you, the the two of you, head down the spiral staircase, yeah. and um, as you're walking out in in these these, <laughs> yeah, you curse in the architect. Um, as you walk down uh, these desks where students appear to be like uh, walking back and forth, um, there is one in the back that appears to be a. Uh, uh, it is a human man, and he has like glasses, and he is reading a book. And some students like approach him. He seems to be some type of uh, authority figure. But um, a a woman in a black robe. A police robe. Uh, no, 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 no. A what? Police robe. Oh no, no, like the leather armor. No, no, no. She's just wearing a black robe. Um, a police robe. She comes over and whispers something in his ear, and he looks up from his book and like says something to the student he's talking to. Um, and he stands up and, and goes with her back behind the stairs into a, into a room. Wow. Mm. I kind of want to fall down the <laughs> I mean, this, yeah, place, this place so is like really crowding with students. I am impulsive in those two falls. True. Yeah. yeah. You can do Kobo Kid. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I will follow them. I picked my interest and I kind of signal to cash in and be like, okay. Yeah. So oh, you like, you like, okay. like push through some of the students and um, roll perception. Okay. Yeah. Is Cash a cool? Yeah. Okay. Cash, are you following? Yeah. Hello. Do I perception? perceive? Cash, did you roll perception? Two. Roll better than me. Fourteen. What? Fourteen. 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 As you're like pushing through the crowd of students, you see them take a weird turn. They start to like curve to the right, and then they're, like a bunch of students walk past. They curve again. Dang. You're like, and then students just like start like rushing towards you. It seems like they're like trying to like get scheduled for classes and things. And as you push through the crowd, you've lost the two of them. Oh. Damn. School cold. School, school cold. Should have, you should have just rolled higher. Yeah. Why did you do that? Should have used the weighted dice. God, obviously. Yeah. I didn't even know should have used Jacob's weighted dice. <laughs> That's a four. Yeah. Oh. 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 Well, I guess we lost them. Cool. What? Don't know what that was about. Forge. Oh, well, yeah. I'll head to the library now. Okay. It should be a, it should be like almost night now. Yeah, it's it, it's about night. It took you a while to get back there. Yeah. Well, I'll sleep in the library. So if you guys want to finish up, at the end. Cash is yeah, in the it. library. Yeah, I said so. Oh, that's true. Oh, he's so like, I think I'm at the at the college. Like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> stay in. So you 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 head out of the gates of the college, over the bridge, uh, back to the commons, and head into the library, as uh, yeah. you the three of you, uh, Damien. Alice and Blitz are in the Shivering and Blom, you Kasha have... Yeah. Like going over there right and Kasha, you're headed back to the inn? Um, I think... I think so. At least to pick up Damien. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I raised my hand. But, probably a very low chance, but on my way back, like, Damien doesn't know this, but Blump was outside, right? Do I see him? Mm. What's your passive perception? No. Yeah, you're not looking. <laughs> There's so many people as you're walking. Okay. Past. Yeah, I'm just wondering. So then, yeah, I'll just go to the inn. Okay. Are you staying? I'm staying. The grassy sitting area. You see people come in and out as they migrate. A few families sit at picnic tables. Some of them have meals. Uh, some of the children play in the grass. Um, evening starts to come. The people get less frequent, um, at least in this area. The marketplace is still pretty busy, but uh, it calms down where you are. But you still sit, just watching the scene. Can I like, uh, as I'm um, as I'm sitting on the the at the table, like kind of, I migrate to a. Uh, to the, it's just a, a grass patch, and I just kind of lay and watch the uh, the sun fade away. Very somber look. Who watches the sun right now? Good RP. <laughs> Good RP. <laughs> Good RP. 
Get he watches the sun fades over the horizon. It falls. And the stars start to come out one by one. You see them in the sky as it shifts to night. As you lay there in the grass. People don't really pay much attention to you. Um, at one point, a boy, a small human boy, playing in the grass, he comes over, looks at you for a second, thinks to himself, and he lies down next to you. He watches the sky with you. Restored my faith yeah. in humanity right there. <laughs> Like, he thinks himself. Oh, loser. <laughs> I just, like, pass out and I fall asleep. Because I'm, like, at 1 HP still. Yeah. Just... You just... <laughs> you fall asleep. You fuck. You guys are in the inn now? Yes. You're doing anything before night falls? I would like to do something. Okay. Um, I suppose all of us are in our rooms, right? Yep. So I'm going to go through... First, knock on... Mm. Meanwhile, I'm in the time. Like, I can't wait to read. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna. Who is it? It's Blitz. We need to talk. I walk over to the door. I'll open it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I don't even have my flask to drink myself through this conversation. It is not just us. Come with me, please. Okay. I'm gonna go to Cash's room. Okay. Alright. Right. My back. What's that? Uh. <laughs> hey. What's uh, what's going on? Hello, Kasha. Um, I I'm getting all of us together besides Malik and Blanc. Um, I would like to speak to you about something. All right. Is everything okay? Uh, yes, I would just like to ask you, um, Damien and I are going to go down to the tavern floor. Uh, if you could get Alice for me and meet us down there. Yeah, sure. Thank you. I go get her. Okay. You hear a knock on the door and you again do the same. You all head downstairs to the bottom of the shivering, shivering in. four shoes. Mm. Okay. Eight, eight, eight silks. Eight Tomorrow, okay. tomorrow we're eating somewhere else. We need to have like dinner. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yes. getting pretty stale. At this Restaurant yeah. arc. Because <laughs> 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 Yeah, can we go to school cafeteria? School cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> the whole arc. <laughs> That's the whole arc. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting sick of cafeteria. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. So everybody's down here. The four oh, of you. The four of you. Yeah. Everybody yeah. except two out of the six yep. members. Okay. Everyone, everyone that's in the tavern. Um, okay. Um, thank you for taking the time, Damien. Especially you. I know the, uh, you know, um, two different. Yeah, but um, I am usually <laughs> quite impulsive. Um, Damien, you you saw that. Right? I'm not going to apologize you for being a dick. But, um, <laughs> but yes, that was a good example of me being impulsive. Anyways, that is not the point of this. I'm afraid Blanc will get himself hurt. Um, you guys, you were not there, but I will tell you what happened. He was matched against the champion fighter of the underground fighting ring on my way. He was fighting the champion of the underground fighting ring of Inquiry. <laughs> and got them utterly destroyed, as you could tell. Um, mostly because this, his opponent was four times his size, and also, um, the, you said what it was. Uh, what did you call it? Started with an F? <laughs> A frog, I think. <laughs> You're not here. Uh, <laughs> I believe you said a fog? <laughs> Um, and Blitz <laughs> just doesn't know the yeah. most common yeah. knowledge for some reason. For real? What? You must have lived in <laughs> land at <laughs> some point. I right? on the harbor, bro. <laughs> it, was, it was a very large frog. Yes. <laughs> and when I mean very large frog, I mean four times Blanc's size. And Blanc is already sizable anyway. 
Come on, come on, come on. You always throw good on these. You, you can do it. <laughs> you have read some books. It's just you a curse. It. I read no books. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, no, if I say that, it curses it. Uh, I mean, there, there are frog-like creatures, but nothing specifically comes to mind. Claws. Level two! <laughs> First off, um, the frog was large as a I tried to do my best to help Love uh, make it an even fight, but I obviously failed. Now I believe I have pissed Love off, and he will try to do he will do something um, uh, irrational. Um, we can let that happen. Well, I would agree, but we have no idea where he is right now. But that's not the important. I, the leader of this underground fighting ring, um, seemed to have some sort of personal thing for Blanc. I believe she wanted him to get almost to the brink of death. I do not like her. May I not like the frog? <laughs> <laughs> And I've been thinking a lot, and I think we should kill both of them. Okay. That took a turn. <laughs> you, uh, Steve, now, you're the aunt. If we don't do it, Blanc will try and get himself killed. I believe. I, whoa. Oh, I just think, if, if Blanc got upset at you for helping him with an unfair fight, even if it was to his advantage, he's not going to be the type of person to seek revenge on those people for... I would beg as a bias, um... Right, Alice? I believe he said something about that uh, going back. Yes, I... You know I don't like... What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. <laughs> she spoke at like two times speed. You didn't hear it? <laughs> she spoke so fast. <laughs> What did I do? You like glitched out, and then when it tried to like readjust, you're like, so I don't think that's what I did. Well, you know that I don't particularly enjoy hurting anyone, um, but I have to side with Blitz on this. <laughs> We it's need to kill them. Well, tables. Blanc did say something about going back, and you know, in in a perfect world, we wouldn't have to kill the very. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We wouldn't have to kill the very large frog or the other lady, and and maybe we won't have to kill her. But I don't like the frog either. Okay. Very mean frog. He's not a friendly frog. <laughs> I have a couple questions. A couple questions. He would be considered, he would be considered not a friendly frog. <laughs> a couple questions. One, I'd say Blumpf is one of the stronger members of our whatever we are, and he apparently got utterly annihilated. So even if we all tried to fight this thing, would we even have a chance? Like, did he cause any damage? The bluff, first off, was unarmed. Um, which, which was part of the um, unfairness, is that uh, uh, the frog had claws, which, you know, are sharp. And As claws are <laughs> I, I do yes, believe that, um, I mean, of course, we could handle the not friendly frog. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, uh, next question. I've seen the way you shoot, Damien. I'm not saying I can't do it. I'm saying, should we do it? But I mean, he is a I think the obvious step that we're missing here is to talk to Blumpf. Maybe? He will not hear this. He won't. And I don't want to disappoint, disappoint Blumpf, but <laughs> if it's a choice between disappointing Blumpf and Blumpf, Dying. Blanc has a very personal connection, yes, to this not friendly frog. 
And <laughs> does the frog have a name or yes, anything? Uh, I see friends I think it was something like Nicole Core. I know the name. <laughs> you said <laughs> no one's there. Leepwell, no one's there. Leepwell Core. A frog named Leapwell. Yes, I thought it was. Well, I don't know anything about frogs, so never mind. But. That was really neat. But you've really never fun. seen one? I've never heard no, of one. No, you've never seen one. I thought you just didn't know what they were called. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You read books. Well, actually, <laughs> do I know what a frog is? Okay, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> twenty. <laughs> yeah, I've read a book of frogs. You know, every species of frog. It's the only thing you know. <laughs> yeah, nothing useful. For frogs. I know. Yeah. Okay, so do we have to kill it though? Maybe we could just. I mean, killing is extreme. But Last I time we did it. Chop off all his limbs. Okay. No. What if we just send a very powerful message, so the next time... Because it's 15 foot massive frog. We don't know what the connection is between this thing and Blumpf. Do we? Do you? Do we? That might be worth finding out. I hate to do this, we... but this is for Blumpf's good. I will not... He wanted me to keep it a secret, but I must break that promise for the better mm -hmm. Well, I'm looking down at you like... For heaven. He's already dead. The kid that laid on to him was like... I don't know, I think you were a tail. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 oh! <laughs> 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 um, no. I believe... I, do not, but I, I don't know all the details, but I believe... Blom's father um, may have a negative reputation, reputation with um, the fighting ring, and you know putting two and two together, I believe that he may have wronged this frog. Um, and sorry, <laughs> core core uh, frog is even <laughs> a funny <laughs> question. Well, uh, it's your first time frog. saying that word, so. Uh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> And and maybe Tatiana, I, I thought I saw something. I don't know if you maybe saw this too, Alice. It seemed as if um, Kor leaned down before he, you know, chomped on Blom's neck. Maybe he, <laughs> maybe he said something? It looked like he did. I'm not sure what, but... I believe this, this may be a personal feud. Mm -hmm. Which is completely my fault. Yeah. That's what I think of it. I'm such an idiot. I'm the one who told her that he was the son of um, the, the gladiator, his father. So this is my fault, and I, I think I need to resolve it. Look, Blitz, I don't think you're doing this out of any ill will or even uh, brash thinking. I think you're trying to be a good person and a good friend. I just don't think this is enough to take someone's life about maybe two people. Um, it's uh, honorable that you'd like... I love the way. I love <laughs> <laughs> I just, I believe I think that, um, Blom's... <laughs> <laughs> I think that Blomp's life is more important to me than a giant 15 foot frog and uh, the leader of a, of a evil fighting ring. I'll pull out my vial of poison. Whoa. <laughs> Look. Do you know Look at this poison. We can do this. But I'm still not convinced that we should. By the way, do I know anything about Blump only liking fair fights or literally anything about him fighting at all? No. I don't think I did. Well, he, we, we know that he's mad about today. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's helping. Yeah, no, not necessarily about that, no. Okay. About that detail. No. We were talking but about it. Would, is this something that Blump would want? Like, um, I don't know. if. I don't think... I think if we asked him, and I think his intention right now is to try to win this fight completely on his own 
because he thinks that's what's fair. And it's not fair, and I think he's going to get very, very hurt if he tries it. I don't think any of us want to kill anyone, but it might be the only solution to making sure Blump isn't the one who's killed. Or we try to stop Blump. <laughs> I don't think that will happen. Should well, I think no matter what we do, we should start heading that direction because we have no idea where he is, and for all we know, he could already be back down there. He is in no shape to fight. They will not let him. I know that much. It won't stop him from trying. In order to me, for me to fight this thing, that if we are fighting it, I, I, I have no shade to fight right now. But I do not know. I believe Alice is with me on the sentiment that we take care of the problem in a uh, rather violent way, I admit, but uh, I would appreciate your help. And may I ask? What that is? Is that vile? Poison? Oh. Um, this was just... It's not much, but it may be enough to do some damage to whatever this creature is. Just your average poison. Nothing too special. Well, that could be a good rod. It might be more than that, though. Yeah, it's it's like half full. It's not that. Also, it's, it's full. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I guess, I, I'm sure Blomf will return, and I, Blomf is a lot of sins, but he's not stupid, per se. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, now that I think of it, um, I don't think he will go and fight him today. Maybe we should sleep on it? Maybe. We'll see if he comes home. Let's... Talk in the morning, and if he's not back, we'll come to a decision then. Well, I appreciate you hearing me out. Um, I will go rest now. So as you as you return to your rooms, Damien, you would remember that Malik had told you he was staying in the library mm -hmm. where break-ins had occurred previous nights. I'm going to bang himself. That's a weird shit. That's crazy. I think it's too late for me to try to come to you. Well, I mean, he, t he told you he was there. You know he's there. I don't know if anyone else does. Kasha? I think Duh? I do. Oh, yeah. Kasha, yeah. So, so Kasha. Yeah. Um, Kasha, do you think Malik's going to be okay on his own? Uh, uh... I don't know. Um, we told him we'd help, though, right? If, if we could. Well, Blitz is in no shape to go over and help, and I don't know if I'd really want to get Alice involved in more unnecessary violence. So, hmm. if you want to go, make sure he's okay. I'll, I'll go with you. All right, yeah, let's let's go. All right. Start headed that way. Okay. okay. So you head that way. The two of you are staying in the inn. Yeah, I'm just, as I'm going to rest, I, I like to kind of. I feel like I'm really kind of uh, scatterbrained right now. I'm not really sure what to do at all. So I'm just gonna kind of for some sort of guidance. Okay, roll religion. Mm -hmm. Never seen it. <laughs> Cleric? The diplomacy for religion? Intelligence? Is it intelligence? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Why isn't it with those? Oh, you know what? No, no, no. I, this is a new sheet. I know. I can push it. It's just here. It kind of makes sense. It wouldn't yeah. make sense for you. <laughs> <laughs> he sucks our religion. He weighs a clown. It's a 14. Hey. It's pretty yeah. good. Okay. As you head to bed, you clutch your pendant. Nothing happens for a little while. You start to doze off, but you feel a presence with you. And then in your head, you hear just a familiar voice. Help your friend. Do what is right, but do what you must. The two of you start to head to the library as night falls. Malik, you start to sit there. The torches in the libraries uh, are lit, but um, the librarian begins to snuff them. One by one. The lantern's hooded. Yeah. I just hung myself a book at this point. Yep. A book on, uh, actually, yeah, on mushrooms, if I could find one, and fungi. Sure. There's some... There's, there's, there's things on all sorts of creatures and, and nature. There's one on, on, on fungus, where it grows, different types. Uh, Whether or not it could become zombie at some point. How it's harvested, how you can eat it, and you you sit He's there think propped up against one shelf. What? Sorry, he was gonna say? think we're the. No, then he's gonna think we're breaking in. Oh yeah, so so <laughs> yeah. as you, you hear a rattle at the door, <laughs> as a as I'm guessing you guys like knock. Oh yeah. As, They stay completely silent. Oh, I take no my staff on the book. No answer as, as, as you guys knock. <laughs> my friend is over there taking the watch, and I'm just gonna knock silently. Okay. Is there a window or something? Yeah, there, there, there are windows. Could I see who's knocking on the door? No, not at the door, there's not windows. But, like, could I go, like, look at the side? Uh, I mean, it's like it's like a really flat front. Mm, so, no, not if they're both standing at the door. You know, I take a second. I'm like, if they're breaking in, they wouldn't bother knocking. Who's there? A hey, boss. <laughs> he locked the door this time. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and then I'll be like, okay, it's David. I'm going to open the door. Oh, hey, didn't know ball. you had a sense of humor. <laughs> didn't know it was this bad either. <laughs> you know, we came to help you. I mean, I was doing pretty well before you came as well. Well, has anyone showed up yet? <laughs> no, only if, well. <laughs> it's, only, it's only probably 9 o'clock at night. Yeah. At this point. Okay. So no, I was trying to get some sleep before I had to. Well, go back to bed. Watch. I have a lot of reading to do, so I'll just keep cool. watch as I read. Did the librarian just leave me? With a key. Yeah. Nice. She left you with a key. I oh, okay. Yeah. Just Tell her I wouldn't want to stay in there. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. I have my bed caught. Like, like okay. And I'm like, oh, now you should right here. I can go to sleep a little easier. I'll try to catch like four hours or so. Okay. Yeah. I'll there start you. reading. Reading. <laughs> reading the books that you had gotten or yes. new books? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll start with Archery in the uh -huh. Underlands. So you read Archery in the Underlands, and again, it was an ancient form of archery that in Valtava that introduced magic to the arrows. Um, it was never quite clear whether the guard the guard themselves were infused with this magic or if it was something in the way that they used their weapons, but it talks all about how and how they used it and when they used it. Cool. Uh, so, you're staying up, are you taking a long rest at all? Um, 
I would like to, but I'll, at the very least, take the first watch. Okay, so you take first watch. Who's taking second watch? Um, after three hours or so, I just wake up. Okay. I'll stay with them. Okay. I will take a short rest instead of a long rest. Good. So you take a short rest. Makes no difference at all, because it didn't use anything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty okay. Damien, roll a perception. Yeah, so am I. So, Kasha, you're headed to bed? Mm-hmm. No, on my watch, I want to have my owl with me. No, it's not. It I'm switching dice, but at ten. Ten. Okay, Kasha, wait, Kasha, are you taking watch at all, or just heading to bed? I'll take third. Wait, no. Well, so, so Damien stays up for about two hours, and then Malik is... I'm just staying up. Just staying up after that, so I guess you don't have to. Okay. So, you uh, roll a perception check. Can I roll the owl? Um, your owl gets advantage on what? Um, perception based on uh, sight and hearing. And hearing? And hearing. Uh, no, roll a perception check. Yeah, you can do that. Roll with advantage for your owl. Okay, so this one's a 14, and the second one's a natural 20. Oh! oh. So, yeah. Damien, as you take first watch, nothing much happens. You hear what it sounds like rats. Like, scuttering. Makes like, sense. Above. The, the, the library is, like, a second, like, story that just kind of surrounds the first and, like, a balcony. So you hear, like, just... I'm also small. kind of, like, half paying attention because I'm reading. Right. So that makes sense. And you tap Malik away. Must be nothing. And, and, he, and he sits up, first up against a bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> As you sit there, um... It is about, it's about midnight when you, uh, when, when you start taking your watch. I have my owl. I'm, like, playing with him. An hour passes. I hurt. thought, I thought it was a girl. It would hurt. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm playing a little song, and it's, like, jumping up and out, like, an owl. But... <laughs> Ooh. You're playing a song, and I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm minor illusion this song. About, about, a, about, about an hour passes. Yeah. <laughs> About an hour passes in the, the invisible somehow. in the dark. You can't see much in the library. It is pretty much pitch black at this point, but your owl can. You hear similar feet scurrying almost up in the balconies. Your owl doesn't see, see anything. You rolled a nat 20 for your owl? Yep. You see like a hunched over form. Barely in just in the far depths of your owl's dark vision. In a corner up on the balcony. Black figure almost fading into the darkness, but just something catches her eye, she sees his figure standing motionless. It starts to creep forward on the balcony. And you hear a voice, but not emanating from this creature. Emanating inside your head. Do you speak under common? Undercommon. Damn it, I do. <laughs> I do too. I do. Oh, how many people speak undercommon? <laughs> no, I don't. You don't I do speak not. Yeah, my background is the. Uh, no, I'm a farm boy. Farm boy. Hush me. Okay. Does it. How long does this voice stick? It stays, it stays for just, just a few yes. seconds. But so it, just it, a few seconds? But wait, it continues talking. Could I use an action? One here. Oh no. Mm. Hello there. Oh, God. Sure, you can use it. Can you say this? Oh, I'm scared of mine. Comprehend languages. Comprehend languages? Yeah. Alright, so you, you, you cast. Yeah, I just cast it on myself, not as a ritual, so it okay. just goes off. Okay, so you use that spell song? Yeah.
True, true. He's <laughs> <laughs> like a guy. <laughs> okay, true. <laughs> Your owl sees the hunched over figure start to put its like long claws over the mm. railing and start to creep along, coming over towards where you are. It's a fool! It's a fool! Let's not kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do want to switch my vision to the owl. Okay, so you switch to the owl and so you I see this see thing. Well. Yeah. <laughs> creeping along. Um, it, like, blends in with the shadows. Uh, you don't directly look up at it, so it doesn't... I guess it doesn't think that you see it. But through your owl, you do see it. As it gets closer, you see that it approaches your, your owl's realm of dark vision. It has... large... almost like spikes instead of a spine oh. on its back jagged and one just dimly glowing eye perched right in the oh center my gosh. and a mouth with sharp teeth this thing is like it looks it, 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 is, it is bipedal and, and hunched over it's bipedal and hunched over as its large, like, claw hands reach over the balcony and, like, grasp into the wood. What color is it? Yeah, what color is it? Wait, it's dark. Your, uh, it's dark vision. Yeah, it's second light vision. But it looks, it looks, it looks almost, it looks almost like, its skin is so, like, jagged and rough. Like, it's either, like, scales or some type of, like, stone. Like, it's very much rough skin. And it, it whispers in your mind once again. Don't do it, Alex. Don't do it. I don't know what that entails. Don't do it, It's coming towards me, not away. Right. right. It, so I'm just gonna stay here. It gets, it gets, it gets directly, like in line with you up on the balcony, before propping itself up and putting two like, like bent in half legs, almost perched onto this railing. I am ready right now with the dodge action, by the way. Okay. And his feet and hands leave the railing at once. Uh, as darkness fills your vision. He gives a flick of the claw, and the owl's vision, in dark vision, is filled with darkness. As he leaps down on you, and you hear him make a sound next to you. I need you to all to roll initiative, but you especially. You two are asleep. So the three of you roll initiative. Can I, oh damn! Yeah. Can I like scream? These dice boy, don't let me down, guys. Yeah, yeah. You, you can wake them up, but they are they are surprising. So you guys are. Nice. So you two, uh, Kasha and Damien, you guys are surprised uh, as you are asleep. Oh, we gotta get ready. But um, yeah. Damien, Kasha, wake up. Damien, Kasha. Damien, Kasha. Yeah, yeah, that, that was really rough. My passive perception is pretty low, so I might sleep through that. <laughs> okay. Just All right. Uh, what'd you what you roll, Damien? Uh, Malik. Sorry. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Eight. Eight. Kasha. It does suck that I'm blind. Two. In nice. Okay. Okay. 
This thing, wow, this is, <laughs> just, just walk me back through this. This is like a lizard kind it's of like, thing. It's like... It has one eye. It has, okay, so its mouth, its, its mouth almost looks like a skeleton's mouth with jagged teeth. It has like these large claws with four fingers. Dude, how am I not terrified? <laughs> yeah, it, it is terrifying. It's its skin. Yeah. I'm trying to describe its skin. It looks almost like. Is it red? Like, um, yeah, like like scales and then like almost like pebbles, like on where where its skin should be. Okay. And a, and, and a dimly glowing eye, which does not glow anymore. Okay, uh, Malik, it is it is your turn first. Ooh, as this thing jumps cool. down, and you cannot see it. Yeah, how blind am I? You are, um, very blind. You are 100% blind. I, do, 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 do you know what blind is? No yeah, um, you have a, 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 a disadvantage on uh, any attack rolls against the creature, because you cannot see it. Okay. I like how Magic Missile says, each creature that you can see. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? What is happening? What is happening? He's touching me inappropriately. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to have an epic boss battle. Yeah, yeah come on. We're having an epic boss battle. Yeah, come on. I mean, it's, it's a good thing Bloomf is not here. Bloomf would be like, I have one HP, please. Uh, it's magical uh, darkness. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Like, you know what I'm going to do? He's got I'm going to cast some mage armor on myself. Okay, so you cast mage armor on yourself. <laughs> Nice. So as, as as you like scramble around in this nice. darkness, there you, you go. cannot see at all. I'm like I can't see anything, so I just kind of try to defend myself. Yeah, we have the same AC. As they, yeah, we have the same AC now. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, yes. That you, that's your whole turn. Yes. Okay. Oh, I need to my owl. That's what I said first. The owl has a two uh, four, <laughs> four, four initiative. Four initiative. Nice. Nice. Sure, no decks. Uh, very low. <laughs> Not enough. Uh, you rolled an eight. Yes. So you are surprised, so you cannot act this round. Um, this thing, but, um, Malik, you, you cast in Mage Armor, you said? Yes. I was gonna attack in my sleep. This was, like, session zero, too. We always find something during when we're sleeping. Like, 100%. Malik, does a 17 hit? Yes. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, uh, a 15. I read that wrong. That's equal to my AC. Okay, so that still hits. Okay. Um, it does 15 damage being woken up by an attack and also dying by the same attack and does a uh, and that's that's a 16 that hits too oh it hit it, it hit me twice huh what yeah so that does um <laughs> as this thing like approaches you here like oh wait oh i just took an action and then two claws come down. It does 12 piercing damage. Okay. I'm sorry, 12 slashing damage. Yeah. As these claws yeah. come down. I thought you wanted to be my friend. We ain't ready for Yeah, you're a liar, dude. Shake my ass. Uh, that, the, uh, that is its turn. Um, and uh, then uh, top of initiative, Malak, it's your turn again. Okay. You can attack this thing, you just you will have disadvantage on the attacks. No, I do. <laughs> oh, and sorry, and so hearing this thing as Malik cries out, you two have, have now woken up in pitch black. Okay. <laughs> both, uh, both of you used to being able to see in darkness and not ever really seeing pitch black. You're confused oh. as to whether your eyes have opened at all. Oh, God. Okay. I will. Oh, I can't see anything, so I just take the dodge action okay. at this point. Must be a dream. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Get my owl ready to help anyone that hits this creature. And you hear this. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Damien, it's your turn. <laughs> no, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your, your owl did not act, and it was not surprised, so it can take a turn. Okay. Bye bye. The owl's gonna attack. I, I assume the owl can see. No, the owl cannot see. The owl can't cannot see. see. Okay, it's gonna stay in my arm and it, it could attack with disadvantage. Okay, sure. It will attack then. Okay. okay. That's where it thinks the thing is. It's just gonna Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it, it makes a <laughs> But it is rather like limber and like dodges out of the way. Disadvantage, you say. Okay. You rolled a six to hit. A six with mm. like no modifier. Like, what is not? A, I think oh. it's a nine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh no. It was a six. And a nine. Uh, it does not. It does not. Hit. It does not hit. Yeah. Sergey Al like. Pff, it, like <laughs> it has more than a six AC. We're dead. What is it? Is? <laughs> All overpowered. All right. Um, okay. Now, Damien, it is your turn. Ah! <laughs> Where the owl kind of flew. Okay. I'm just gonna blindly shoot, shoot the, the arrow. Yeah. Okay. Roll shoot with disadvantage. Don't shoot the owl. Well, hopefully not. I mean, if I roll low enough, maybe. You'll make Malik really sad. Yeah. 
You owe me ten gold. If you Fourteen. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural eight. As you hear this arrow, it like you hear like, ching, as like part of it's just like bark. It's just like it barely misses and it like scrapes part of it. Uh, uh, okay. Then, um, how did we get? Yeah, I guess that's a good way to describe its skin. It's almost like bark. Okay. Oh. Good to know. So don't want to I will. Mhm. 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 Okay. Um, okay. Good RP. You know, yeah, good RP. I I'm gonna use my movement to run to where I think it is. Okay. Run right in. Alright, so you run into melee with this thing. Yeah. Where you think it is. And yeah. as you do, and that's your turn? Okay, and as you do, it is this thing's turn. As it... I have the most health. And it takes two claw attacks at you. Dos? Uh. Un, dos! Sixteen? Yeah. You're doing so good. Eighteen? Uh huh. Okay. This might be bad. So you take 16 slashing damage. Oh my god! How much damage? He's one off. <laughs> okay. So as you as as it takes two slashes at you. Oh god! How much damage did you do? I did 16, but I had taken four from this dumbass, so I was already low. <laughs> well, you had you, you you had gotten a, a short rest in. So oh, if you wanted to, yeah, you, yeah, 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 you could have used hit dice. All right, yeah, but now if you wanted to recover, <laughs> is it could've. too late? I mean, no, I would say, I would say, I mean, you've been asleep for about, about two hours. Right. I, would I, say, I will say you can retroactively use one hit dice. Cool, I will do okay. that then. Red card. Not dead. Plus, oh, okay. Well, that puts me way over, but uh, that <laughs> I recover ten. So you can recover the four that you had lost. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> so then I'm at five. Okay. Okay, so that is this thing's turn. Uh, Cash, it's your turn. And you hear like the clashing of like, um, like claw against like metal armor. Whoa! I'm gonna cast Witch Bolt. You're gonna fire, fire. Mhm. Okay, roll, roll an attack with disadvantage. Okay. Um, the owl is using help, so it cancels out right. Ooh. Is that what the owl did with its action? It attacked. With he did. Action. He said, "Oh, is that an action?" Its action is oh. his, his turn is after, or her turn is after. Oh yeah, the yeah, owl's less. What, what you got? I got a Wait. twenty with disadvantage. Oh yeah, no, that, oh, that, yeah, that hits. That totally oh. hits. Roll, roll damage. All right, okay, let's hope it dies right now. Don't worry, guys. Wait, it's coming. I think Ten. Ten. Ten damage. Keep it alive. No. Oh yeah, okay. it's my friend now. And it's it is going to roll a. Con save. It just succeeds, so the darkness stays up. So Damn. as you as you release your wand, you hear you hear ice just <laughs> hit off of this like barky material. As, <laughs> if I could survive one more turn, is that your whole turn, Kasha? Uh. Is that your turn? That's that's my turn. I'm, I'm feeling around for for my friends. Okay, yeah, you kind of like feel around and you feel Damien. Damien's pack. Wait, what, mm. where does she feel? Oh. No, you feel like you feel like <laughs> you feel like Damien's like leather armor. Damien. Okay, it is your owl's turn now. Okay, it's gonna take the help action. Okay, and it's gonna like distract. Does it help? Uh, so, now the help action does it pick an attacker or does it help? And whoever it's actually next. Yeah, it picks an enemy, yeah, okay. and it's like distracting. Okay, so, so your so your owl begins to like distract this thing and fly around yeah. where it thinks its head is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then it is your turn, Malik. Okay. I will take the dodge action. The dodge action. Okay. Yes. Because I can't <laughs> oh see. I can't see. But you know, when you attack with disadvantage, you have a better chance of hitting than by not attacking. Yeah, I also have a better chance of not dying if I take the dodge action. Also, his owl would actually roll. just roll, make it roll a straight straight. So yeah, so you so you, know so you, you just want, you just like get ready also, in a stance. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna it's within five feet of me, right? I know that. Uh oh. Oh, did you get well it 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 it, it uh turned to Damien. Actually, yeah, it is within five feet of you because oh, because yeah, it had taken two claws right. and you hadn't backed up. Uh, right. I didn't know you were at that. Yeah, okay. I know, right? That's why I'm taking the We're not looking good. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sorry. I just take the dodge action. 
Okay, so you, you take the dodge egg? Yes. I you a bitch, you wish you... be good till tomorrow. Yeah. True. So. Okay. That's why I was like, let's... Should bring blood. Let's play. Okay, um... Damien, it's your turn. Thank God. Bonus action, I am going to second win to heal myself. Okay. Um... You know, it's a good thing you guys good. came over. Okay, great. Ten. Okay. Nice. Where did dice, where did dice, where did dice? Where did dice, where did dice. Okay. By action, I will try to shoot him. Okay, wait. You're, you're like on his face. Wait, yes, yeah. okay, wait. Close yeah. quarter shooter. Oh, nice. So, yeah, okay, so, okay, wait, so let's think about this. So you have disadvantage because of the darkness, advantage because of the owl, and disadvantage because of close hold. Oh, you have that fighting Yeah. Okay, so you just have a straight roll then. Right. Okay, okay. <laughs> the owl. So just, just, just roll once. The owl is like distracting you. <laughs> he, 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 he flies around, yeah. Alright, come on, dice. You're either dice, really bad or dice. really good, so let's dice. go dice. good. 25! Oh, <laughs> that hits real damage. <laughs> okay, pretty pretty decent. Uh, 8 damage. 8 damage? And I will action surge to hit again. Okay. But with, I think it's with disadvantage. Disadvantage this time. Well, hold on. Wait, wait. Wait. Hold on. Wait, does hell hold on? Is he's it gonna, one attack? Wait, wait, he has to make a concentration check. Oh, he's, he's gonna make a concentration check. <laughs> and he passes. Oh, Damn! Bruh. So the darkness stays up, but you get a second attack. With disadvantage? Yep. Disadvantage? Disadvantage. Uh, no, that's, yeah, I already know it doesn't hit. 14. Damn. It just misses. Again, you hear that arrow just ding off the arm. Okay. And then... I don't want to be in melee, but I also do at the same time. If you're already here, don't leave. You know? I, well, like, now if I leave, I'm going to get attacked. Yeah. But I also, if I stay, I'm also going to get attacked. I did. Awesome. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, I got to keep track of this. Like, yeah. like, his old back is the quiver. Yeah, his old back is the quiver. This one. Don't worry about it, bro. So there's some in my backpack, some in my, some in my belt, some in my quiver, some, some in my pockets. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know where the others are. Really really like the are. <laughs> uh, um, I think that's all I could do. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. As this thing takes its turn, as you as you fire one arrow right into its chest and like gets lodged in there, and the other one just barely chinks off at it. And you see in this vision, as you're looking like roughly where a glowing eye, like green eye, through this darkness, piercing, and. <laughs> You can't tell if it's a vision in your mind or if this thing is piercing you. Malik, you do not see this. Yes. Um, My owl sees it. But actually, it doesn't. No? Okay, oh, cool. Psychic. But, um... You screwed my guy. Just like this sorry. this green it's glowing totally eye. Safe, Make a constitution save for me. Oh! Uh, good at those, good at those. Wait, don't say that, Jacob. You're stupid. No, you can do it. You can do I read books. I read books. You read books. I read books. Come on, books! 18? Hey! That's that passes. So as, as you, like, feel this... I, like, damage, I'm still dead. this gaze just, like, take hold of you, you, like, stare right down into it and, like, shrug it off. Uh, Kasha, it's your turn. I'm really scared that I'm gonna die. Uh, uh I'm keeping, <laughs> keeping my hold up. <laughs> okay, um, so you had before created this, like, bond between the two of you in the darkness, and once again you, like, tug on it. And do another uh, 1d12. Go ahead and roll damage. Ooh. Oh my God. Nine. 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 <laughs> you know, it would be really unfortunate if this encounter was actually meant for the full party and we actually stand no chance against yeah. it. I mean... And as you tug like... as you tug on this bond, yeah. the darkness stays up. Still. Dude! Ugh. Dude! I was just going to plus 10 no. plus 10. Okay, I was just going to take the Um. Action. Okay, is that your whole turn, Kasha? Okay. Um, it's the owl. Help action. Help action, okay. Alright, so your owl once again just keeps like okay. flying around this it's thing. My turn, right? It is your turn. Okay, it's... I'm not dodging anymore. I'm just going to firebolt. Okay, firebolt. Like, with point just, a, yeah. just a straight roll. Oh, yeah. wait, point blank? Yeah. Uh, is, what? It doesn't... It, it doesn't... Right? Well, so, okay. I don't know how that works. So, I, don't I, works. I don't know what takes precedent first. So, disadvantage because of darkness, advantage because of help, and then disadvantage because you're within five feet. That, helps, that happens sleep? for spells? Yeah, that do does happen. Yeah, I'm going to put all of us just leave if That's I do true. that. It does go in a radius. True. Except, Except me. You. Except you. Fey ancestry. I would literally Ooh. cast sleep and I would just fall asleep myself. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, guys. I'm like, well, <laughs> <laughs> I know what to do. I got this. He always knocks himself. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, Firebolt would be a disadvantage. A disadvantage? I don't really. I don't want to catch it. Why is it so funny? But I'll do it anyways because like I'm, 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 I'm scared of. Uh, so I would say. I would say your owl's help action, if you're gonna get disadvantaged, probably wouldn't. wouldn't would, it would. It would. It yeah. can still like okay. go over to the next one. Okay. First one's a uh, seventeen. Okay. Oh, oh no, actually it's a nineteen. Dis- Disadvantage. Oh. Dis- okay. Fourteen to it. Does it? No. Fourteen just barely as this like streak of fire completely mm. like hush. So there, there is no actual light, but you hear it just right past. Okay. This is not. That's the end of your turn. Uh yes. Okay. Damien, Damien it's don't return. kill it. Don't kill it, Damien. You can attack. This owl flies <laughs> flies around it. <laughs> it tried to kill me. <laughs> okay. It knows something. Don't kill it. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Well, I can't even see what I'm hitting, so I don't <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't even know what it is. But you just know it's attacking you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I will just go for another longbow shot. Okay. Right? With, with regular, just there's no straight roll. Fire in <laughs> Guess what number it is. Fourteen. Yes. <laughs> That's four fourteen. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like right in front of him. Well don't worry, at twentieth level, like <laughs> and he misses somehow. Yeah, and you, you yeah. and you just like at the last moment just like the arrow goes a little wide and <laughs> Okay. Are you it's, taking? It's this is where I die. Okay. I bonus action anything? I will take out my vial of poison. And drink it. <laughs> no, would it be a bonus action? I think we discussed this. So it's like an action it's, to dip. It's an action yeah. to dip. Okay. Okay. An action. I'll just take out the poison for now. Okay. And then yeah. wait. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll have to. Uh, you once again, you once. <laughs> you once again um, see this green eye. No! Glow. Make a con save. I, oh, I honestly no. say no. No! No! Advantage? Stop it! No! 22! No. <laughs> so as this green eye fills your vision... It's because I said no. It just goes back to black. Uh, as you, as no. you said no. Alright, uh, Kasha. 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 That thing is not attacking and instead it's just like doing nothing to you. Kasha, you have witch pulled up. Okay, go ahead and roll that d12. Also, I wish Damn. Eleven. Oh my god. He's gonna make a con save. Wait, damage? Oh wait, that's really yeah. good. I thought that was to hit. Thank you. I was yeah. like, damn it. Dang. Um, yeah, Cash has literally done, I think, all Cal the damage. damage. I hit one. You hit one. <laughs> and she's done so much. Yeah. Hey, I tanked all the damage. <laughs> <laughs> but Kasha, you, you... <laughs> Your, your wand just once again, like, wrenches this bond between you further in. And, like, it's whole, like, you feel the presence of this thing, like, being gripped. Um, <sighs> it is your, is that your whole turn, Captain? What yeah. did you both do it? Can I see? <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, and, and, and as that does, the darkness remains. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. The darkness stays up. This thing, okay. this thing... Oh, I was gonna ask okay, what's rough. I have no he's idea. He's been rolling, like, natural, like... It was it was like natural twelve, then like seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, like oh literally. My God. Uh, okay. All right, uh, it's your turn. Um, yeah. It's your uh, owl's turn. Sorry. Help! Help! Okay. Help me! Help me! Help! <laughs> Man, help. look here. A fireball with his image. Okay. First one, fifteen. Second one, sixteen. Fifteen. Yes. Fifteen, 15 hits. hits. Fifteen hits. It's not. Uh, I mean, <laughs> fireball is a D10 of damage, right? Yeah. Yes. I never, I never did damage. No, I wish. Natural one. <laughs> That's one wow. damage. So but it, it rolls a con save. But it, it, the important part is it that rolls it rolls a con save. save. Oh, Natural 15. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I know. Weighted dice, weighted dice. Weighted dice. <laughs> weighted dice. Weighted dice, um, weighted dice. But as, as, as this just releases from your staff and just like, poof, just like a little puff of flame hits him, the darkness remains. It's like, uh, Damien, it's your turn. You can attack a straight roll because it's yeah, the owl. Yeah, because of the owl. That was like doing owl circles is, around owl the thing. That was MVP. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will. Cash is doing all yeah, the damage. Cash is literally I know. Absolutely. I will. I, I, I can't run away because. Oh, I guess I'm <laughs> holding it. <a>, <laughs> so. Uh, no, I. You, yeah. Free action. Free action. Yeah, free action to just put it. Free on. action to. I'll use my action to dip. How many can I dip? Is it one dip? Technically, as an action, one it is dip. one dip. Okay. Then I'll just do a one dip. Okay. And, and then, the as a bonus action, if you want to counter, just put the <laughs> poison away. Yeah, I mean, no, you can just put the poison <laughs> okay. away. Okay. And then I will just oh. re- <laughs> ready Sorry. myself 
to shoot next round. If okay. Kasha doesn't hey. utterly destroy it. Okay. Uh, it is this thing's turn. Come at me. RKO. What? <laughs> and you hear like scuttle away. I believe opportunity attacks are against things you can see. Ooh. I believe I read that. I think you're right. I think um, you're right. So you do not get an opportunity attack, but it comes out of melee, and you don't hear it for a little bit. And then you see, once again, a glow, mm. but you feel it from almost behind you. Oh. And you turn to look, and this green eye glow is con save. You can tell You're good at those. You're good at those. Come on. What? Is that snake attack too? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was trying to, it was like, it was so ah. close to being good. No, I'm just kidding, it's not that many dice. Oh, actually it is, oh. <laughs> I said it's not that many dice, and then I was like, oh, I lied, actually it is. Okay, um, it, uh, the dice were really bad, so you're lucky. It only does 14 damage. So you take 8 necrotic damage. As this eye, just like pierces and finally gets into your mind and just like you feel an invasion as it like rots your senses like your vision is black but your hearing goes like almost like numb and it just it invades everything but yeah you take eight necrotic damage am i like the blinded and deaf in condition uh no i mean you're already blinded but well, no, <laughs> no not, you're blinded. not anything specifically okay jesus okay um that is this thing's turn. Uh, Kasha, it's your turn. Kill it, Kasha, kill, it. kill it. Kill it. Please do everything, Kasha. Kill it. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to switch over to Ice Knife. Okay. This which I'm going to have to look up real quick. Kasha, it's going to have disadvantage, whereas Witch Bolt will just automatically hit. God, never mind then. Witch Bolt. <laughs> Okay, so, okay. I mean, the DM says, I mean, but, like, yeah. no, you, you know that you're blinded, and you know that this has, like, a, t a yeah. leached onto him. And you don't really know where it is. So let's keep this... It just, yeah, and it, it moves, and you feel it as you're, like, witch-bolting. You feel it. Come on, Cash, Come save on, my life baby. again. <laughs> save more life again. Eight. Jesus. Eight damage. So as Kasha, like, pulls on this... Uh. Finish him off. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. I know, you can't. Yeah. Okay. the only one. Uh, Sorcerers are good on the low. Uh, to be fair, she did pretty much all the damage, all the damage to that thing. Yeah, yeah, which both just did everything. I was here like, I did, I did one damage to this thing. And it was yeah, yeah, nice. you did one damage. <laughs> Kasha, finish him off. Okay, so as, as I have this like connection between this thing and I, I feel him trying to screw with Damien's brain and I'm like oh no you don't yes. and I just <laughs> don't kill him. so like don't kill feeling him. his presence you just like pull on your wand and his whole body is like almost like sucked into the center of, of this, this grasp that you have on him before his body goes slack and he's unconscious the he's darkness dead. fades around you I am ass and he falls and you see this like Almost dinosaur looking uh, thing. This bipedal dinosaur, dinosaur looking thing. This dinosaur. dinosaur looking thing. No, but like, um, I mean, this thing is like, it, in pretty much every sense of the word, a monster. Dinosaur. Now that I can see it. Now that you can uh, see, roll, roll, uh. Can I help I read books. books. Roll, I also read books. Roll history help? for me. Hey, oh, I also read books. I hope. Do, yeah, do yeah. Do we want to do help. advantage or do we want to do it separately? Uh. I'll, I'll, do, it. I'll do it. I'll do it. No, I'll do it. Oh, I have proficiency in history, though. Oh, do then, you? uh, no, so do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so you, you, you both... Plus oh, 19 on the first one. Yeah, 19 on the first one. So, as this thing lays on the ground... You Allies, s please? Is it alive? It is dead. <sighs> it is dead. I mean, I mean, a spell, a spell attack... No, thank you, Cash. Yeah. Save my life. A spell attack can't, re can't do non-lethal damage. <laughs> That makes yeah. sense. It's only a melee attack. Especially okay. when you're sucking their soul up. That's true. Yeah, well, I mean, if you um, suck that hard, there's nothing left. All right, see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, join us next episode. Um, yeah. But you yeah, see this right. this bipedal <laughs> form. It's it's its feet have like three just it's like. It's not one anymore. What is it? <laughs> toes. You've heard yeah. tail. Uh, toes. Is it? It is appears. It, is it a coilless? As as you get a closer look, it appears to oh, have later. once been humanoid. To have once been almost, yeah, to have been a civilized person. You've heard tales of ruined people, 
some of them considered cursed. You've particularly heard tale of Vecna, the Ascended. Oh, oh shit. Crap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Vecna, bro. I'm yeah. sorry. Vecna, the whispered one. Big bro, am I right? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think that's. I think. I think I made a. I think I said that wrong. Vecna, the whispered what? one. Oh yeah, that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> the ascended one sounded familiar. And I was like, know. oh, of the undying or something. Vecna, the whispered oh, one. We're in the library. And you hear, you've heard <laughs> rumors of cursed beings that hunt for magical knowledge. <laughs> Okay. Does and you you think that this thing meets the description? So I I know Vecna as Jacob, but would that role do I know, like in character? Uh, we're in the library. What's well, true? Roll books? religion. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You proficient? Uh no. <laughs> That's like one of the two things I'm not. Nah. I read books. books. So Mal Malik has heard Malik has I read books. Tale. For real? Okay. I rolled. I, I would have rolled a twenty, uh, like, but I did not roll. Uh, but yeah, I just, okay. This thing's laying dead on the ground, right? Yeah, now. and you yeah. see, it, it's like this skinny form with like just spikes coming out of its back. And you see, at its at its side, there is, I mean, it's not clothed, but it has a belt around, and on it sits a a book, a leather bound. Just tattered up book. Loot the body. <laughs> and you and you and you slip it out of its pouch. It is it is a, a a brown leather cover, but like scratched, demonic black writing. Okay. And you flip through some of the pages, uh, and it is just, I mean, scribbles. I have comprehend languages. That fill. I mean, it's not a language. It's just uh, this is like. Really? These are just like Insanity. drawings of like an insane, like. <clears throat> demented person. No, my friend, I see. But you do see, as you flip further back, you see that these were scribbles and drawings over what used to be printed text. And as you flip further and further back, the drawings begin to fade and it begins to come further into actual text. Um, I read it. And, and they are instructions <laughs> of arcane spells. Oh, and you see, uh, of the pages that are still intact, there are detect magic, okay. false life, okay. Okay. blindness and deafness, oh. Oh. darkness, and mind spike. Oh, that's what he was doing. Okay. Bruh. That's, Bruh. that's a lot. You don't have to lot. return this book. Yeah, I can just keep this book. <laughs> As this, as this thing lays dead at your feet, that's what we're gonna pick up next. Damn. Time. Okay. Ooh. Vecna. Nah. Cool. Uh, Congratulations, Katie. And, you killed the boss by itself. Thank Very you. Tough. You can all have love. Yeah. Yes. 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 We clipped yes. all the mics. Yes. I don't care. Oh wait. <laughs> Uh, okay. You can. Second level um, spells finally. So if, you, if, you, if we want to quickly roll hit points yes. on camera, we'll, okay. start with, we'll start with Blom. Perfect. Guys, I'm not useless anymore. Uh, let's see. It's, it's <laughs> I'm not useless anymore. D12. We're good. Uh, I'm rolling a D6. Oh! 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 Beefy Barbarian. Oh, yeah. Beefy yeah. Barbarian. Oh, Come on, good rolls, guys. Good roll. Fred of Alker. We need good rolls. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Fred of Alker. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right, all right. All right, Eight. Eight. Oh my nice. god. Nice. Way to dice and way to dice. Way to dice. We have way to dice and good RPR. <laughs> Come on. Don't roll a one. Eight. Oh. This is why, guys. You guys are literally alive. Oh. I, if I'm the one person who rolls ass. All right, all right. Katie, Katie, Katie don't lie to over the screen. This is so much pressure. D6. Here we go. Come D6. on, baby. Four. Okay. You know, that's, hey, that's, that's above average. That's pretty good. Above average, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Come on, come on one, come on one, come on one. If we ask well, for the one, we re-roll one. Yeah, if we ask for the one, we get the one. We re-roll. Yeah, we re-roll. Yeah. 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 Come on. Please, dice. Right, I, mean, here we go. Good. Uh, I take a 14 on this one. Re-roll once. Re-roll once. Nice. Come on, baby. 
Yeah. All right, Fine. I'll take eight, seven. That's yeah. good. That's pretty good. Seven out of ten. Yeah. Well, well yeah, Colin, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so you got what, like five? Five, yeah. yeah. Okay, now. Seven out of ten. Natural two. There Natural you go. two. There you go. Nice. Let's go. Makes sense for us. Hey, Blitz, remember how on average I'll, I should be healthier than you? I probably have the least amount of health in the who has yeah. so I do. Blump, Blump I has the, the most. What? How did you roll a natural twelve? <laughs> 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 he rolled a natural nine. We're not natural losing 12. against this big frog. Oh my three. god! Wait, now, what? What's everyone's? What's everyone's <laughs> health at? Then? All right, all right. Uh, thank you guys. I don't. It's kind of a late night. Um, <laughs> I'm a yeah. level up RN. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. It so, may or may not be midnight right now. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah. so much for watching uh, this episode. Uh, we really we love you. Playing. Um, we love you. Yeah. Thank you. We love, we love you. You know who you are. Yeah, you, yeah, you. yeah. You specifically. Well, you, like literally. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Uh, I have for, a crush on you. Uh, this far, <laughs> uh, we are so excited to continue, and uh, I think it'll only get better for him here. I am already just loving these characters and this. We're loving you. We also love you, yes. Mm -mm. Uh, mm. If you like this as well, please uh, let us know down in the comments below. Uh, drop a like and consider giving us uh, a, a subscribe. That would be really awesome and, and it would help us out a lot. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much. And we will see you again next week for the next episode oh, of University of And remember, remember friends who together. together. Stick, Stick together. together. Yeah, we yeah. all said it. Bye. Bye. Bye.